Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pasty Joe's Game. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we are playing Yakuza Kiwami 2. We're playing a Made in Japan. So, um, do you know the Yakuza series? If you don't know the Yakuza series, it's a long-running, um, probably criminal, criminal, the mup from Sega that was actually started on the PS2 back in, ooh, I'm about to get the year wrong, 2000 and... Two? Four? It? Six? Who do we appreciate? Dojima! Dojima! The Dragon of Dojima! <laughs> so yeah, um, Yakuza is actually a... Uh, Yakuza, Japanese Mafia uh, criminal enterprise game that follows the life of a single character and his experience of actually being part... Literally godfathering. Like, he was in, he was out, he was in, he was out, he was in jail, he was out, and he was back in again. And it's been a fantastic experience to play through over the years. Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2 came out on the PS2. We got an English translation of them way, way back in the day. And they were heavily truncated of their content. I mean, they, those games were cut into shit. They, if you want to actually get like, a close approximation of the video game series and you've never played them before, it is the GTA of Yakuza. It's a, it's a Japanese Mafia GTA. It plays a lot more like Shenmue than anything else. And it really feels like it, it was at the time felt like a spiritual successor to the Shenmue series, which we were never going to get finished. Strangely enough, we actually are going to see them come back again now. But um, Yakuza 1 and 2 on the PS2 are classics. They are true classics. But they obviously had a lot of flaws whenever they were translated across and brought to the UK and the United States. And Yakuza Kiwami solved that. We got a remaster of the first game in the series very recently. We actually had Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Kiwami come out around about the same time over here. Yakuza Zero being a prequel story that takes place before the events of the first game, and Yakuza Kiwami being a retelling of the first game. Now, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 came out on the PS3, so with the remaster of Yakuza Kiwami 2, we will finally have modern era versions of the series spreading from 0 up to 5, and 6 is on its way. I've already played the demo of 6 here on the channel for I Made in Japan ages and ages ago, and I think I played like 2 3 hours of gameplay on it. Uh, because I was super hyped to play it, and obviously I was playing it in the natural language, or at least in this case, I think this is actually the Chinese dub of it, or the Chinese uh, subtitle of it, but uh, I was playing through it in foreign language, uh, so I couldn't figure out how to progress any further. I'm going to have the same experience with this, but I thought, right, I mean, this is it, it kind of plays itself to the point where there's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of story told, and I'm just going to ad-lib over the top of this, talk over the top of the story that's going on, at least you can get an idea of what the visuals and the storytelling technique is on Yakuza Kiwami. Now, obviously, they feel very cutscene heavy. The, in, the beginnings of any one of these games is so densely packed with story and narrative that you really don't feel like you're playing the game for at least the first hour of gameplay. So we might just literally watch some of the cutscenes and talk about it and see how I feel about it. Otherwise, they may have set this up to be an actual playable demo, a proper playable demo, where we'll actually get to just jump straight in and wander around. Uh, uh, Kabuki Chu? Is it that? I can't remember the name of the actual like area of Tokyo that's actually taking place in. I feel like such a bad Yakuza fan. I feel so wrong. It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I'll be okay about it. But yeah, um, Kazuma Kiryu, the Dragon of Dojima. He has obviously stolen our hearts. Oh, look at that suave looking motherfucker. <laughs> he kind of, the weird thing is, he reminds me of like a bunch of 1990s actors and comedians. <laughs> like it's just with the beard goatee and the face. It's, it's just one of those things where like, he seems just, he, he seems like a man born out of time. And he was even whenever the games were to game out. It's so nice to actually see this even just upgraded visually from what it actually originally was. You put out that fucking cigarette. I'm serious, take out that fucking cigarette. Put it inside the can and put it the fuck out. <laughs> this is like thinking is, um, because the timing setting of this? When was smoking banned on trains in Japan? Price, I'm actually trying to think. 
Is there what? There's no way there's still Suntory <laughs> Hey, Centauri boss. Rainbow Mountain Blend. <laughs> it's like the most delicious of the coffees. Why have I got a feeling he literally went and got him a can just so he could? Oh no, I did get a can to drink. I was like, I thought it was like got him a can to use as an ashtray, which is kind of common actually whenever you're in Japan. You just like drink a can, you can put your cigarette into the can so you can put it in the bin. You don't throw it in the street. It's like that's that that is the worst thing you can goddamn do. Now, obviously, with this being upgraded to HD, it is a massive upgrade. We can actually tell what brand everything that they're eating and wearing is. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking way too upbeat over the top of what sounds to be a very depressing story. Now, um, God, where, where, what, what happened? What, where's the opening? What is the intro to Yakuza 2? What is the context for them actually returning back to the area? Oh, shit. Oh, please tell me I didn't stop the recording. It's okay, it's still good. <laughs> I think I knocked over a keyboard that would move my hand. Hmm. Things make you go, hmm. So... Contextually, um, like I said, at the end of Yakuza 1, uh, Kazuma Kiryu is still part of the organization. He hasn't retired and walked away yet. In three, I think, is whenever he actually like yeah. At the end of this, he walks away from all this shit to actually go and live in another life. The cool thing is, like, over time, since Yakuza Zero to the most recent Yakuza, you've actually seen this part of the city change. So you've seen from the the mid eighties onwards, and it's so weird because. Even compared to the old 19, uh, to, compared to the older, like, PS2 era graphics and series, the city never looked as interesting as it does now. It doesn't ever look as vibrant, it never feel, it felt as alive. And I'm kind of excited to actually be playing it in this way. Now, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I, my mind is kind of slowly glazed over that original English dub. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not doing it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yay! E. A. Oh my god, I finally got it! <laughs> Fucking EA! They're everywhere! So, yes. Welcome to the city. Uh, obviously, it is. Am I. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the arrow. The arrow's telling me to go places, I'm gonna follow the arrow. Huh? Huh? Uh. No. Yay! Straight into combat! I knew it would work. One, two, three, four, and big kick to the face! So yeah, this is what most of the game actually ends up being. Kicking the absolute shit of people in the streets of Tokyo. With bikes! And with... Barriers! Oh, so gratified. <laughs> So literally just people start pick fights with you, you kick the shit out of them, you steal some of their money, and then you move on with life. So so much of this is actually like street combat. Um, the combo system is fairly simple, but it's been elaborated over the years. Uh, especially from the Kwame remasters, you actually have at least two to three different systems of uh, combat that you include in it, which is usually uh, you have a brute strength, you have a speed, and then you have a weapon. I think it's probably the three different types. Mm -hmm. Dude is trying to get me to join his gang, probably because I showed I so much promise, but I've actually kicked the shit out of other people. I've got angry at him, told him to go fuck himself, and we move on. Let's keep walking. Yeah, it actually does kind of, it brings out on the actual phone, on the controller as well. Nice sweet touch. So, messages about things. Things and messages. Messages and things. So obviously there's restaurants, places you can go and have a bite to eat. There's places I can go and spend some money. In fact, I'm going to take a look here. Is it cool? What the hell's that? Oh, find some key. Oh, locker key. Sweet. So that was the thing that was going on for ages in the game. Uh, you went to a locker and ooh, what's this? Golf? Ha ha! <laughs> Mini games already. All right. So obviously, uh, the thing with this is it's the faffing about so creed sick. of uh, prime games. Like GTA, you can just sit and do a bunch of random shit. <laughs> Let's play some golf. Ding! So you go to the driving range and you just whack balls around. So uh, X to go, move my L, touchpad for things. Good. 
So, boom, T, and whoop. wait, do I have to use a touch for this? Uh oh! All right, <laughs> sliced it. Ding. Well, since I won the rings. Ah, I went out of the ring. <laughs> Not great. All right, we're teeing up. We gotta get. We gotta get these in the hole. That's what the whole point is. Oh shit! Oh Jesus! Ah, uh, it's okay. I was only thinking about it. All right, so I'm probably gonna have a bit of a slice to the right. So I'm gonna take a wee bit to the left. It's 58 yards. Boom. Yep. Knew it was gonna be a little bit to the right. Oh baby! Woo! <laughs> oh, that felt good. All right, so 79 yards. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, way to the right. Way to the right. Off the wall. Bank it in. No, didn't work. Ah. Hmm. He decided against it. All right, so we're going to give it a little... We got a little bit of diff to the left. Definitely got that in the case. 70 yards. So just short. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Boom! Oh! It was too perfect! It was too perfect! I needed it to actually be a little bit more of a slice! Yosh. Yosh. 47. He's coming up to the 18th hole. As he uh, makes his approach, he makes a small decision. He's gone for the sandwich. Strange toys. 47 yards to the pin. He's got a hard shot ahead of him. Let's see how he does. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, there actually is a wind blowing back to you. Oh, I didn't even consider for the wind to actually... Oh, God damn, that was a bad shot. Um, I didn't consider for the wind that I should be carrying it a little bit more, so I need to actually take that into account. There's a little bit of a left wind for the front. I might actually need to short this a little bit. We're going for an 89. Uh, with a bit of a right diff on her. We're going to go about here. Bing. Bing. <laughs> compensating, 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 compensating. And it's way too short. God! Damn it! Got four more shots. Alright. Well, 280 points. That's not too bad. Uh, admittedly, I should have probably gotten like a few more than this at this point. 47 feet. Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh, god damn. See, I'm setting it up for taking that left shot. <laughs> I need to actually stop aiming for an actual precise shot. Yush. Yush. A little bit more of a backward win on it. It's going to be pushing back. We've got 61 yards, 64 yards. We can weave it up here. Boom. Boom. A little bit to the right. Oh, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Should have overcompensated on the left. Do not go into a backwards right hand facing wind. It's, it's just not going to help me. All right, 89 yards. This one's going to be a long line drive. We got a straight wind pushing us ahead. So 89 yards, we're going to be going about here. Ding. Ding. Oh, it was good. It's just not good enough. Another 70 points. Yush. Yush. Last shot of the game, folks. Oh, he's approaching this last hole. He's waiting for that watering hole to come up immediately afterwards. He knows he's going for a drink. So can he pin this last shot on 53 yards? Just looking at the wind. Checking for direction. He feels red. Taking a very strange angle of the shot. He's assuming he's going to be playing into that wind. A little bit of a luck. A little bit of timing. He can pin this. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck! <laughs> even because he even knows he did it. He knows he got that one. He's like, oh, you beauty. Fuck yeah. Mm. But um, obviously, won a prize. I have no idea what the prize is. But um, I'm willing to, pair, willing to bet it is some teas to put into somebody's mouth and then knock their face off. Well, I guess a bit. Golf club. Well, thank you very much. It's good to actually have the high score. Now, right, bye bye. <laughs> Uh, 
just for a mini game that was so unbelievably gratifying. I was like, oh, that felt good. I felt way too good. <laughs> so, like, I literally want to go and play Yakuza Kiwami because all of these kind of games actually are included. And very commonly in these games, because it's made by Sega, it actually includes uh, a number of Sega classics as well. It actually has things like Space Harrier. Oh, there's another lock key. I'm picking another one. I'm just pick that shit up. Oh shit, it was just a metal disc. All right, fair enough. What is in here? Is this a shop? Yeah. Oh, I just check out the kind of shit that we can sell and buy in these stores. So literally, like these are department stores. They they just have normal shit that you would find in like a pharmacy. Like health drinks, energy drinks, you know, all that kind of shit. It it's like in like an RPG sim game, but everything is exactly as it would be if you're in that kind of Oh, I want to play Pachinko so bad! No, that's a vending machine. Can't play Pachinko. Damn. Darts bar! Darts bar! Shit yeah! Shot bar. This is actually kind of cool, because I have actually I've been to... Like that, that's, I actually love this idea where you literally like, I don't know what's on floor 1, 2, 3, but on 4, but I definitely know where the shot bar is, because that's the only thing that's advertised. But you literally get an elevator and just come out at a fucking bar, restaurant, strip club, whatever the fuck you feel like. Um, yeah, obviously that's actually taking me to the bar. I don't want to go to a bar just yet. I don't really have time for that. Um, I want to do someone else. I want to, I want to actually continue the plot. <laughs> I think I will continue the plot. The plot is where I will go right now. Oh shit, am I meant to be going in here? Okie dokie. Oh, shit yeah! We're going to be going into um, our hostess bar. This has got a whole pile of shit to do. Welcome to the Grand Cabaret! Hello. Hello. You want me to talk to somebody? I want to talk to... You told me to come in here! Oh, it's over here. Ah, gotcha. Hey, fuck, fuck. Huh? Seen Gracie? VIP area. You don't have to have money to be in the VIP. Wait, what? I can't. What? Fuck you! I'm looking back over my shoulders because some interesting shit might be happening in the bar somewhere. But yeah, if you don't know what a hostess bar is, it literally is where you go in and you buy drinks over exorbitantly priced so that you can have some company to sit and enjoy your drinks with. There's a no sexual manner in it whatsoever. It's just a. Uh, People going in to flirt with their waitresses and it being completely socially acceptable. Um, obviously, there is a shadier side to some of it, which can be somewhat related to um, prostitution laws in Japan. And it can seem a little bit squick, but it's actually a playable element of this game where you actually are making or training up hostesses to work inside your bars. Which, in its own way, is kind of odd. Um, makes a lot of people do the, oh, Japan. Oh, shit, I didn't realize I could run! Oh, fuckers! Come here, you pricks! Yes, I want to fight you. Hi! Oh, just sweep the leg, Johnny! Just sweep the leg. This is the fact that gangs of hoodlums hang outside of the golf club. Only in Japan. Where's next? Oh, there's the dude. Oi. Oi. You want to tell me off or not want to go? Well, want to go to the VIP? No, no. Yeah, keep on talking. Literally, we're gonna skip through all of this because uh, we're literally just doing mechanics here. I, I, honestly, it'd be funny to listen to the dialogue, and I'm sure. That there's a lot of funny shit being said, but obviously, uh, with the lack of translation at the moment, <laughs> we are going to have to do with that. But uh, at least I know I can go back and do the thing I was going to do. Back to the place. Back to the hostesses. I love the fact that he put little animations in for like him looking back at the guy he just ran into. You're like, that's considerate. That's that's a considerate extra level of animation that you did not need to worry about. Oi. Oi! I know. 
Get the fuck out of my way. Kind of looks like the girl from Res uh, from Ridge Racer Type 4. Look around, cabaret begins! That does not sound like a piano player. <laughs> Appropriate. Yeah. Are you a badass? Yeah, I'm a bit of a badass. <laughs> uh, yay! Asshole inside the club! Time to ruin a motherfucker! We're from another gang, we're gonna take over this club! You better start paying the protection money! We're gonna kick your ass, motherfucker! Oh, the gang boss. Boy. Boy. Okay. He's such a manly man. He's the boss. Aniki! My big brother. Big brother is awesome. He'll kick everybody's ass. I'm a big motherfucker. What did I say? Fucked up. You fucking tell some shit. You need to close your goddamn mouth. Leave us alone. What did I say? You called him Big Brother. He's defense He's really irrational about his size! I'm so, so sorry, big brother! I mean, I'm so sorry! You are a worm. Wriggle like a worm. I honestly thought he was gonna pull the cork out with his teeth. Glug, 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 glug. I drink peach brandy like it's tea! Yeah, you don't worry that I have cooties, do you? This isn't a scar. It's a cold sword. You made me spill my drink. It's very disrespectful. Now, pick up the gun. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I will drink it. Damn! Practice skull open without one hit as well. You should get the first hit for free. Eh? <laughs> Fucking Kazuma! <laughs> like from three tables over, he has to say like one thing to get everybody's attention. You are the dragon, my friend! You are the dragon of Dojima! Of course everybody pays attention to you! I don't like scumbags. <laughs> you call a scumbag! I don't like scumbags. Dark glasses. Well, I'm not wearing glasses! Yes, you are. You're actually that blind. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck with the wrong boy. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Over the wall you go. <laughs> Record scratch on a piano. <laughs> you picked the wrong sense to fight. No, I'm gonna fuck you all up. <laughs> Come here, fuck face. Oh, it's beat him up time. Come here, fucker. 
<laughs> you fucking idiots. Boom! Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> womp, womp. Oh god, don't just get up. Come here. Over you go. <laughs> Over the top turnbuckle and out of the tournament, he's going to lose this Royal Rumble. And a silence trapped over the room. I love it! <laughs> I like to see a little daddy boy playing with some people. Shouldn't I give you a squeeze? I'm no teddy. In that case, you're a full bear, aren't you? That little bear tickler. You just going to walk away after I flirted with you? Call me. <laughs> Oh, I love it! <laughs> More drink! <laughs> so I'm actually just ripping the balls of the conversation as I'm going through all of this. I'm, I, I, I have no idea what they're actually saying, but that's still entertaining dialogue. <laughs> You got a lot of safer man with a scar on his face. <laughs> In fact, I want you to come and work for me. I've all the money! <laughs> second Lieutenant of the Third Clan of the Second Tojo. I will sit to listen to your proposal. Doesn't it sound like a good idea? Join me, Kazuma Kuri. We shall also control Kamibuki Jiro. Well, has gone to shit. I'm gonna take control. Uh, Kiryu. Kazuma. Oh shit! The dragon of Dojima. Where have you been all my life? In prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you have! The dragon of Dojima, trapped in a cage. Now they've let you out. What do you plan to do with your free time? You want to come over here and whore in this place as much as we do? Or you can go back to jail. At the end, bullet. <laughs> Less QQ, more pew pew. Nande. Well, I have many opinions about many things, but I'm not going to talk about it now. But I will talk about many other things to make this cutscene scene. Over all. In fact, I'm just going to start meandering in this conversation. Can you see how intense I stare? Let's have a staring competition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole, you know that? I wouldn't win a staring competition with a stone-hearted bastard like you. On the first of the twelve. One, two, three. Ah, I'm not even gonna count. I only count to four. Really? Well, obviously. I never got an education. I still measure things in imperial measurements. 
Really? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I never really got a proper education in school. That's why I became a good Yakuza. But I do drink classy booze. We had to make a shot. But you should, no. What? I'm going to drink this all in one gulp. So! Time for me to go, uh, go kill some people. Probably bones are related to you in some way, shape, or form. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Mizuma, one last thing. Don't you dare think about getting in my way. Really? I know you're the protagonist, but I'm asking you nicely. Stay away. Stay away, Kazuma Kiryu. Laters. <laughs> like, fuck, I will. <laughs> I'm involved. In fact, it's one minute to kick ass time. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you actually enjoyed my ad living over the fuck of Yakuza Kiwami, showing you a little bit of its sideward play, um, a bit of the cutscenes and the quality of the animation that the game has. I highly, highly, highly recommend playing Yakuza Kiwami 1 or Yakuza 0. Both are available and pretty damn cheap. Uh, both of them I've seen selling for under £20 in multiple places. And obviously, um, Kazuma has stolen my heart many years ago, and I hope he does it for you too. Like I said, uh, obviously, they, they didn't dub the most recent games, they just subtitled them. So if you're a person who doesn't like to read a lot, I, I apologize profusely, but uh, we tried the dubs back in the day, and they, they, they didn't do very well. Uh, because there's a lot of like individual culturalisms that actually don't really translate correctly across, and just sound so much fucking cooler in a Japanese dub. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, right up there in the corner will be a button I would love you to press. If you feel like hitting it, I'd really appreciate it. If you get the chance to do so, um, hit that button. Make my life a little bit easier. And if you actually hit the boxes here, there'll be a playlist of other games I've actually played here on Cold Open or in specifically Made in Japan. There'll be a whole playlist of them right up there. All games that actually came in places that you might not have actually seen and might not ever have actually gotten the chance to play. Over in the far corner will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on the YouTube analytics and the things you search for on Google. They will find a video that I have made that you will enjoy. And it'll be placed in this little box over here. Hope you enjoyed, hope you check it out, and hope you have a good time, and I hope you come back again in the future to see some more videos, and if you want to see more Yakuza, tell me in the comments below, because I would love to play through the game series. It just requires a bit of dedication to hammer through. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.